Gig Performer has just released Gig Performer Essentials. I'll tell you about it. So Gig Performer has released a new product. It's called Gig Performer Essentials. And basically what it is, it's a stripped down version of the normal gig performer. Now, when I say stripped down, I don't mean stripped down. Actually, this is pretty much a full-fledged uh, gig performer, minus some of the advanced features like scripting and stuff like that. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is uh, kind of walk you through on what gig performer essentials is kind of behind the scenes what has changed from the normal gig performer and uh the i'm gonna have a link below where you can get 10 percent off of gig performer essentials by using the keyword of keyser k-e-y-z-e-r keyser so you'll be able to get 10 percent off um, on gig performer essentials if you're brand new to vsts and you're thinking about going from hardware to um, you know, software base, Gig Performers Essential is gonna be perfect. In fact, I, I'm almost thinking about switching myself to Gig Performer Essentials because I right now I'm running the full version and I don't use nowhere as near of the advanced features <laughs> that are in Gig Performer. So in a way, it kind of makes sense for me to use Gig Performer Essentials and uh, I'll show you more um, of my setup in future videos, or if you kind of go back and look at some other videos, you'll, you'll kind of see how I already use Gig Performer. So let's get into it. I'm gonna share my screen here. While this isn't going to be a full tutorial on how to use Gig Performer, this is just mainly gonna be a high level overview of what has changed from the normal Gig Performer to Essentials and kind of what separates those two um, for an awesome walkthrough video for gig performer um, i'm going to list a link down below uh, gig performer the, the youtube channel actually has a phenomenal beginners um, guide to how to use gig performer so i'll link that in the uh, description below but let's get started uh, with the differences between um, the normal gig performer and gig performer essentials we're gonna just first start taking a look at the general tab. Um, the general tab, I, I, I haven't there, there, I haven't seen any difference between the um, Gig Performer Essentials versus the normal one. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show. Let's go to the normal one, and if we take a look at those options you can pretty much see that you have the same exact options under general, so really nothing has changed under general. And then if we go back to Gig Performer Essentials, take a look at display. Again, nothing has really changed um, under display. I think maybe there's just a few um, cosmetic things that they might have might have changed. So display is staying the same. I.O. is changed just a bit this now let's take a look at the normal gig performer here so you can see oh i have to change the audio um so the only thing that's that's changed under audio io for um for versions is normal gig performer gives you you can load some configure some configurations or save the configuration in the uh, essentials version you don't have that option so that is the only that's the only difference in the audio tab all right still under uh, the new version essentials here going over to the global MIDI tab pretty much standard nothing has changed on the global MIDI tab in fact we can take a look at gig performer here and head over to the MIDI tab nothing under global MIDI has changed Let's go back to Essentials and go over to the Set List tab. Under the Set List tab, uh, nothing uh, has changed. They have kept this all the same as well. So if we look at, so you can see your, your Set List and Normal Gig Performer are the same. So going back to Essentials, um, we are going to go over to the 
um, MIDI ports tab, which is going to be the same locations is going to be the same and tap tempo. Now you'll notice what there are some icons that are missing. So what gig performer uh, considers more of like the advanced stuff, let's head over to normal gig performer and you do not have the recording option that is considered an advanced feature uh, for gig performer. So the uh, essentials does not have recording essentials will not have OSC uh, and oh, and will not have scripting and will not have extensions. You can only get, if you need the advanced functionality, you get that through the, uh, the full blown version of gig performer. But in most cases, like I said, in my case, if you're a new, if you're a new user or like me who just, I keep things very simple and I don't need a lot of the advanced functions, essentials is just perfect. All right, so now that we got the menu out of the way and we showed, showed you the difference between the full version of Gig Performer and Essentials, your rack spaces, your set list views, your global rack space views, your wiring uh, and your wiring views are all going to, uh, they're gonna look the same. Uh, this is, going to be an absolute blessing for beginners because when you start on essentials you're going to be able to transition to more advanced features um, without an issue so gig performer did an awesome job of uh, of keeping everything looking the same um a few nuances with this though if you are using rack spaces like i uh that have more of the advanced features um like for instance um I use a couple from Narf's collection. Um, in fact, here, what I can even show you what will happen. I'm just gonna load my normal, I'm gonna load my normal gig file. And let's, it's gonna take a minute, so let, let, let's let this load up. Okay, as you can see, it's already telling me that some features are not available. Um, it says the gig file you're loading uses one or more plugins that are not available in Gig Performer Essentials. It will still load, but not may not behave as intended. Um, some sounds or functionality may be missing, and I'll show you what is meant by that. So, um, this is one of the pre. Uh, this is one of the rack spaces that you can get from uh, from the Narf collection, and. You see, it's trying to use a scriptlet. He's using a scriptlet in this rack space um, that is not available um, in the essentials version. The full version of Gig Performer will have it, but uh, and if, if you you know if you're trying to use a rack space or you purchase a rack space that has these advanced features, what you'll have to do is you actually have to come in here and remove remove the ones that our advanced features and you know normal plugins like cherry audio and arturia you won't have you won't have any issues running those at all it's just going to mainly be the advanced uh the advanced features um in fact i'm going to i'm actually going to close um i'm actually going to close this file because i want to show you some um things for uh, what you see when you're, you're creating a rack space. Okay, so here we are in a brand new rack space. Um, so one of the features or, or one of the things that you would normally see um, in normal gig performer here. In fact, here, let's, uh, let's, let's do a quick comparison here. Let me pull up normal gig performer. I should say full gig performer. Um, it's so basically it's going to be missing some things like the scriptlet. I think the rechannelizer is an advanced feature. Let's move back to essentials. Um, oh, rechannelizer, they do have it. Uh, wait, oh, I'm on the wrong gig performer. Okay, rechannelizer is. Um, missing from there so you're 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 gonna you're gonna see some differences um 
in b basically this section, but you'll you'll definitely see all of your plugins. Um, nothing will be changed there. MIDI inputs are going to be the same. Media player is going to be the same. Globe, they still have global uh, processing in the Essentials version. Uh, your uh, gain controls are still there. They still give you your audio mixers. So, I mean, it literally, it's still pretty much a full-fledged version of Gig Performer, just minus some of the advanced functions. You still have the Rig Manager in Essential. Oh, oh boy, I spoke too soon. Rig Manager, okay, this is a advanced feature. So Rig, I'm, I'm learning this with you. Um, so Rig Manager, it's nice that they put that up there, by the way, to tell you that you, that you need to upgrade. Um, so Rig Manager, that's considered an advanced feature. Let's take a look at plugins. You can still scan for your plugins. Uh, how about song lyrics and chords? You still have an option to do song lyrics and chords. Uh, how about MIDI assignments? So you can still do a MIDI assignment. See, so I, th I think some of these might be in an advanced feature. I don't, I don't use any of these. I would consider this an advanced feature, um, which, is, which is awesome. Um, widget mappings, let's see. Okay, so you can still view your wid widget mappings list plugins and use I'm assuming it just yep I don't see why they would take that that functionality away um, but my goodness the only thing out of out of out of this is rig manager is considered a advanced feature hey future Jake here so I woke up the next morning after recording this video and I totally forgot to show you something really cool about essentials that I think some of you might get really excited about uh, let's take a peek over at the desktop here. So Gig Performer Essentials now comes with Synth Master. Um, so if you right click and choose KV331 Audio Synth Player Master, there is over a thousand presets in here. So you can, I mean, even if you don't have any VSTs right now, um, synth master is is awesome I can't play it through you because I don't have my sound card set up properly um, but let's do I'm gonna show you this too uh, uh, if we go under there's also templates for uh, synth master if we go new gig from template you will see that they have a synth master tab now and single sounds and split layers so I wanted to, uh, I totally forgot to do that as I was recording this video last night and wanted to make sure I got that in there. So now back to getting my final thoughts on this. Wow. So really what, um, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say other than I, I might just be using gig performer essentials to be honest with you. I haven't done a comparison, you know, of, uh, CPU processor wise let me touch on that real quick um, I'm gonna put on the screen my uh, setting or I should say my specs that I use I I will forewarn you I use a beefy beefy MacBook I and I don't skip on resources especially when I use this for you know for for playing out live um, so I use, it's a 2023 M3 Max, 64 gigs of memory, and it's got a two terabyte drive in here. So solid state. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter if it's essential, gig perfor performer essentials, or if it's the full version, the more resources you can throw at it, the better. Um, and just, that is just how software VSTs work in general, you know, you know, if you're using contact, the more resources you throw at contact, the more you're going to be able to do with it. Um, but again, for new users that are just looking to get into Gig Performer, Essentials is the way to go. And they're selling it for $59. And if you use my code, Keezer, uh, with the link below that I'll have in the description, you get 10% off of, uh, of, of that $59. So, if you've been curious to try Gig Performer, 
I, I'm, you know, I, I vouch for it. I use it every, every single show. It has not, it has not failed me. Um, I mean, probably maybe do because I have a lot of resources thrown at it. You know, um, I mean, if you do have a weaker, you know, laptop, your mileage may vary. Um, I can't speak to the windows, um, side of things. I've, I always run my stuff on Mac. I know I'm a Mac guy. Um, but you know, if you're in, they do offer a free trial though. I mean, even if you don't want to, you know, spend the money for the, um, essentials, they do offer, you can, you can take the essentials. Um, they got a free trial for that as well. So you can take that if you're like, Oh yeah, I really love essentials. You can buy it, apply my 10% off code. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to keep this video very long. I just wanted to just kind of go through, you know, some, you know, some differences that were in the full version of Gig Performer versus their new uh, um, Essentials version. And to be honest, I think I'm going to switch to Essentials because I, I don't use the advanced features, and I don't know. It just, it just makes more sense for me. So. Uh, if you liked what you've seen here, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the link to Essentials down with that 10% uh, off code of Keezer. And we'll see you in the next one.